This is your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm C.S. Scatterly. More than 25,000 young people have passed through Junior Achievement, a program designed to teach students how to properly run a business. Sparks, a company sponsored by Commonwealth Bank, set a record by taking one of the top three spots in all eight categories. Walking away with the top prize as the most distinguished achiever was Michael Johnson Jr. Johnson beat out more than 3,000 students in schools throughout the country. In other business news, tourism officials are reporting the country's film industry is growing and has great economic potential. According to the ministry's film commissioner, Craig Woods, last year 187 projects were completed in comparison to the 170 done in 2012. Woods says approximately $270,000 is generated monthly on production projects. He also pointed out how in addition to generating revenue, Bahamians have an opportunity to gain work experience and network. Last year I think we did a close to $5 million worth of our production work based on 80, 187 projects. So that means we're working on you know, a project every three days. And it, it's, sometimes it's uh, music videos, sometimes it's documentary films, underwater shoots. Uh, last year we shot five films and that's when the big magic happens. That's when a lot of eyeballs on the Bahamas. One of the films we shot last year was up for a Golden Globe. And in international news, U.S. cupcake chain Crumbs has said it will shut down all of its shops a week after its shares were suspended from trading on the NASDAQ index. It had 65 shops in 12 states and Washington, D.C. Its fortunes began to decline as its cake sales slowed. Crumbs reported a loss of $18.2 million last year, which came on top of a $10.3 million loss in 2012. This has been your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm C.S. Gatterly.